One of the things that I am constantly doing as the manager of my school's Chromebook fleet is figuring out which student has which Chromebook. Now, they should have a particular device, but that's not always the case. Figuring out what student has used what device is really important, but surprisingly difficult to find in the admin console. Let me show you how I do it. Hi, my name is John Sowash. Welcome to the Google Admin Bootcamp. Now, the first thing I want to show you is how to figure out what user has logged in to a particular device. So I'm going to sign into the Google Admin Console. This one's pretty easy to do. And we're going to navigate down to our devices over here on the left. And then we'll go to Devices. And on this page, you should see all of your Chromebooks, whether you have a few or thousands of them, all your Chromebooks will be listed. So all we have to do is open up a particular device and click on one. And this should show you a lot of different information. So got a bunch of stuff here. We're going to continue scrolling down. We have our custom fields, which might have like your asset information on it. This is where we want to look. Under system activity, you should be able to see recent users. And if we can click on that, it'll open up this page here. And I should be able to see up to the last 100 individuals who have logged in to this particular device. Now, this information um, is only displayed if you are collecting the user report and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute and it will only track users from within your domain so this one here is hidden because this is you know a gmail or some other non-domain user that's an easy thing to prevent if you are forcing students to log in with their school account then you would not have uh, this being listed now if you do not see this information you may need to enable it and so uh, you need to go into your device settings. So I'll give you the path for this. We're going to go to devices and then Chrome down to settings. And then we're going to be looking at the device settings section. And specifically, we need to uh, scroll down for the user and device reporting. So I usually just do control F and I'll type in user and device and it'll just highlight it for me. Um, I would recommend enabling all of these. These are off by default. So you have to configure your Chromebooks to collect this information. And specifically, we want to report uh, user tracking. Um, this information is not tracked in real time, which is something you need to be aware of. Um, you can adjust the update frequency down to 60 minutes. Um, it also will refresh when a user signs out and if policies are refreshed for various reasons. So that is how you look up to see, given a device, which user has signed into it. And that's very helpful if a device is broken. You can look at the last few users and those are the individuals you should talk with to you know, assign responsibility for that broken device. Now, the second question is a little bit more difficult. I have a user, so let's say Peter. I want to know what Chromebooks has Peter signed into during a given period of time. Maybe um, he's using devices that aren't assigned to him, or there's a, a string of devices that are broken. We want to see if um, all those devices can be attributed to him. This is a little bit more challenging to do, but it can be done. We are going to visit the investigation tool and everybody should have access to this there is two versions there's a paid version and a free version but we'll just be using the free uh, features right now uh, so we're going to go down to reporting and audit and investigation um, and we'll go to chrome log events there's a couple different ways to get to this page um, essentially if you can get to a page that looks like this where you have you know these drop downs um, you're good to go so uh, the key is that we want to, in our first filter, we want to go for Chrome log events. Then we're going to add a condition. Um, we are specifically interested in a successful login. So under the attribute, I'm going to scroll down to event. So the event that I'm interested in is a successful login. Now, if I do this search, it's going to show me 
every single successful login of all of my devices. So I'm going to further refine this to a particular user. So again, I'll add a second attribute. Um, this time I'm going to say device user. We'll say is, and then you're going to enter the name, the username of the person that you're interested in. So I'll put in Peter. There we go. So Chrome log event. The event is a successful login, and we're only interested in logins by this particular person. Let's hit the search button. And there we go. We can see Peter successfully signed in to a device. Now, if I scroll to the right, there's a bunch of columns that will be listed. One of them is device name. So that's the serial number of that particular device. Now, again, if this user has signed into three, four, five, 25 Chromebooks, they would all be listed there. And you can see you know, the date, the time at which uh, they used it. This information is saved for 180 days. So you have three months of history here that you can access. So it's not something you can look at, you know, years ago, but it's very helpful if, if um, you know, someone says, hey, I didn't send that email. Someone must have used my Chromebook. You can easily tell who signed in to that Chromebook um, at a particular given time. Everything I've shown you so far can be accomplished with either the free version of Google Workspace or one of the uh, premium editions. I am now going to demonstrate two additional features, but these are only going to be available if you're using the Google Workspace Education Plus edition of Workspace. Once you have your search set up, go ahead and click the save button over on the right side of the screen. So and we'll just call this, you know, look up uh, Chromebook by user. Hit the save and that search will be saved for future use. And I have a whole bunch of these saved to click on the little folder icon. Um, and these are things that I use on a regular basis. So successful login, there's my information. And I just change the user that I'm interested in any, uh, any given time. Now, the cool thing about this um, is when you perform one of these searches, let's go back to the one we just did. You can actually pivot the search to get even more information. So here's the search that we just did. We're looking at Peter. Let's search. Now, if I want to look at that device, I'm going to scroll over to the right. Here's my device. Click those three dots and I can say pivot to a new search. So this is going to create a new search for me this time looking at that specific device. So if Peter says, I didn't break it, somebody else did. Well, I can say, okay, let's see the successful logins on this device. Change the event back to successful login. Hit the search button. And this is gonna show me every user who has logged in to this device in the last 180 days. Now, if you're thinking, oh, didn't we just see this information in the device area? Yes, this is exactly the same information, just provides it in a little different format. You have a few different options. I can also see that Polly signed into this device um, recently. So the investigation tool, it's challenging to work with. There are a lot of buttons, but it is very, very powerful. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I will be putting out some more videos on how to perform various searches using the investigation tool so you can figure out what's going on inside of your domain. Another frustrating part of working with Chromebooks is making sure that they update ahead of your state testing window. If you look at the video that's on the screen now, you can see how you can force update your entire Chromebook fleet to make sure that those devices are ready for your next state testing window.